Hello and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you this inventory analysis dashboard that uh, you can use as a design for your own work. So I saw this dashboard on Pinterest and let me show you that. So over here I saw this dashboard which is having absolutely similar design if you see right and uh, it is from this website instructorbrandon.com so pin interest is my go to location along with dribble is something uh, where we can find if you remember i previously posted this one as well right so it gives a lot of lot of ideas in terms of uh, what dashboard that you can produce and my objective is that how i can produce within tableau or let's say in power bi uh, just so that you know from step by step uh, we can get a good looking output that is something we can use in our work um, to impress our users or create a visually appealing dashboards in these technologies like Tableau and all. So we will going to look at uh, how we are going to create this uh, dashboard from scratch or right from the start and take it to the end by building this entire scenario and uh, I will show you uh, what is the configuration that I have done and uh, finally how we can design this layout that will going to help us okay so with that let me start with all these KPIs so first thing first is about the data set so data set is something what I'm using is W inbuilt um, superstore also I have posted this data set on my uh, Google Drive. So on my Google Drive, I have this data set folder. Uh, within this data set folder, if I just, if it lets me go in, uh, it will basically give me, come on, why are you not? Yep, there you go. I am inside. Uh, so over here, we, I have this data set. Uh, over down below, there will be sample superstore data set this one right or sales.xls sample super stored or uh, sales.xls is something you can go ahead and download uh, to start using it don't worry way too much in case numbers are not matching for example whatever is my final number uh, whole idea should be that how we can apply the same techniques and get the similar output all right also one more important information is uh, i keep all of my templates here in this folder as you can see all of my previous templates are present over here so that is something you can access download uh, for your own work you can see all of this is twbx file so simply you can go ahead and download also you can follow me on tableau public uh, i'll give the link below and in the description and you can do that so before i also uh, start creating or showing you about this I do my Tableau uh, advanced dashboard training where I basically, you know, provide a lot of other functionality. For example, right now it's all static charts, right? Orders by product subcategory, shipping time by uh, product subcategory and region and quarterly orders. So something, you know, you can envision that if you, let's say, click over here, it should show everything related to the order. If you click it over here, it should show all the metrics by the order value or if you click it over here, it should show all these values uh, into the respective metric that we are uh, capturing. So this becomes like a control panel and all your dashboard metrics are updating. Also, uh, I cover a lot of different advanced uh, date related functions where uh, you can compare whether this is for current period and compare with the previous period, YTD, year over year comparison, all of that along with dynamic behavior is something I show it in my training. So if you're interested, you can let me know and uh, reach out to my email ID, which is flashing over here and uh, I will share you the details. With that, let's go to this inventory analysis. So like I said, I'm using the sample superstore. So you will see the fields like this. Uh, customer name, location, ship date, um, there will be location in country, region, state, there will be product, right? So all of this will be present. And then what we are doing is we are creating this sheet with the same name and the name is coming as a title. And if you see, I am using uh, a small technique to basically highlight or, or basically uh, make it look good. So all in capital and there's a space between that just to make an impact that it is a title. So 
this is something which is coming over here and if I double click over here in the sheet name I'm using tabli semi bold 12 and black as a uh, color and over here I am bringing the order ID over text if you see this is coming as text and first it will show you all the names but what you need to do is you need to come over here go to the measure and say count distinct that way it will give you the distinct order count that you have in your uh, uh, for you that's something you need to take care as part of your inventory while, while you are working as an inventory analysis okay so once you have this a couple of other configuration that you may need to do is uh, first thing first you need to come over here from standard you need to change it to entire view for all these visualization that we are creating and over here into the text you need to come over here and do it central alignment for horizontal also double once you click over here this window will open up this is something which i'm formatting to tableau bold 36 and the color code is for the color that i'm choosing is 1E8DBF, right? So that way you can get a preview over here as well. And 1687 is something the unique order what you are having. So order count is this. Similarly, order value is nothing but the sales value. So ideally, what you should do is you should right click and say duplicate, right? That way you don't have to do the formatting. Also, I remember from formatting perspective, the background color. So you can right click anywhere, go to the format over here on to the shading sheet should be selected and your shading should be this first gray color. Okay. So that way you will going to get the same color. Once you have done all of this formatting, come over here, duplicate this, change it to order value so that order value will start appearing and just drag the sales and replace it the existing value which will be count of order id just put it on top of this the sum of sales and it will start coming now if you see i have done a small formatting over here so the way you need to do is you need to come over here and say format pane and numbers currency custom one decimal value display unit needs to be in million and this is my prefix so based on the currency that you have you can prefix it you also have a suffix. I will show you an example in just a couple of minutes. All right. So once you have done that, then you have, you will duplicate this and you will going to get the average order per day. Now, in this case, I have used a different color is because if I go back over here onto the pin interest, you will see that this is the color that they have used for the third visualization. So this is the third and unit sold is the sixth. So that's two visualization in which I'm using the color. So something if you want to highlight a different metric as per your need, you can color it and I'll show you the process is all same. Uh, this is average order per day. Average order per day is nothing but uh, your count of order ID, right? And distinct count of order day. Now, uh, it's a different uh, debate that whether this calculation is right or not. But whole idea is every day, how many orders you are getting. So I'm taking a distinct count of order, dividing it by distinct count of dates is basically giving me five orders per day so average order per day is five orders so orders is basically coming based on the formatting so i go into the format uh, in the pane and uh, i have number zero decimal places suffix i'm saying it orders right and that is why it is coming as orders so once we have done that um, the color is you go right click format into the same into the shading rather than this color choose this color which again i have shown the color coding 1e8 dbf so once this is done again you duplicate this sheet this will this is where we will going to create the average shipping time four days so four days is usually is what we are taking to ship any product right uh, this is a calculation so the calculation is uh, over every shipping time so right click edit so this is i'm i have already done that calculated field is something i have already created so the way you need to do is you need to come over here and click on create create calculated fields once you click on that this type of a blank window will appear so you need to give the name every shipping time and using the date diff function you need to say that you need to get the number of days uh, between start date order date and ship date right 
and that should give you the four days. So again, for the formatting, right click format and uh, onto the number custom says days. So that's how you are getting the days and this formatting we are already doing it, right? So once we have done that, the same over here onto the shipping cost. So shipping cost is again a assumption about what is the shipping cost. And if I show you the calculation, this is every shipping cost is whatever your sales is, uh, you subtract the profit, what you get is the margin. And assumption is that 5% of the margin is our shipping cost, right? So that is something 0.05 I'm multiplying that 5% of my profit margin of 5% uh, of sales minus profit is what I'm getting is the cost. 5% uh, of that cost is the, uh, the shipping cost, right? So that is something how I am getting it. Again, in your case, if it is straightforward or if in, let's say for each order shipping cost is given, then pretty good, right? You can straight away do that. Finally, unit sold 12K, nothing but the quantity. You bring the quantity over here. 12K is again using the formatting. Formatting is number custom, 1000. That is it. What you are getting is the 12,000 unit sold. Then what we are doing is the calc uh, the ch uh, creating of a chart orders by products of category and region. If you see, this is something what I'm not following it from here. What I'm doing is I'm double clicking over here. Uh, and clearly specifying using left alignment orders by product subcategory and region w semi bold and 10 right so specific name is something what i'm giving again background color is same and this color coding is based on region so this is each of the region like west east central and south it's basically indicating from where we are getting most of the orders so clearly from the west region we are getting most of the orders and the least orders are coming from south consistently for each of your product subcategory. So this subcategory is present over here. We are bringing it here. Count of order ID, distinct count of order ID is something what we are taking for putting it onto a bar. And to get the stacks, what we are doing is we are bringing the region over here. Similarly, if you have a different need, you can configure it, but that's how your configuration should look like. What you need to know is the color code, but it is the same different shade of this main color if you see this is the west same color code uh, what i did is i just went over here and i dragged it little bit onto the right again onto the right again onto the right to finally get the south right so these this is how i have created the different shades which you can do it very easily right simply double click simply double click on each of these sign and uh, move it ahead simply double click on this sign and move it ahead right once you do that what do you same is the shipping time by product subcategory so this basically shows the shipping time that it takes or average shipping time that it takes to ship the order into different regions right west 4.6 for supplies and uh, envelopes it's relatively early paper phones is relatively early or copier is the earliest one right so that is something you can figure it out over here if you see uh, in east you you have more time 4.2 days compared to 3.1 days which is like one day more 2.3 is into the central pretty less and south is somewhere near to your west so this gives an idea for an inventory guide like uh, uh, how fast uh, or how much delay it is happening and accordingly you can decide like how much inventory you need to keep and uh, time it takes to deliver it um, finally, the uh, quarterly orders by shipping segment. So this is like uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. And you have the different customer segment, home office, corporate and consumer, which is to indicate in which section you are getting most of the orders. So clearly 50% of the orders consistently is you are getting it from the consumer division, corporate division and home office division is the least one. So you have the number of orders and their relative percentages as well. So once your this chart is prepared, also to create this chart, the count of order ID is something you bring it onto the rows, but you also need to make sure that you are doing the quick table calculation where you are choosing the percent of total. Once you have done that, you need to make sure you come over here, compute using and saying table down. Once you are 
once you are done with this configuration all of these values will be appearing and then you need to bring in order onto the label to bring the actual order number and then you also need to bring hold down your control key and drag this onto the label and and release the control key will give you this calculation or this percentage as well so all of this configuration is something you need to do uh, like the steps that i have shown and you will going to get a chart like this again for segment you go into the color the same technique for the highest one i am choosing the base color and then the different shade of the same color to get the impact once you are done with that what i am doing is i am bringing as you can see everything over here which is basically uh, about uh, putting everything in a proper layout so how you can do it from the scratch is let me create a dashboard i am as you can see i am creating this blank dashboard over here what i'll do is i will increase the height to 1000 1000 is the width 1000 is the height right first thing first what i'll do is i'll bring in my vertical because first component is here second component is here third is here fourth is here right and uh, what i'll do is within that uh, i need multiple components so what i do is as a helper i bring in blank that basically helps me as a helper to easily bring other component for example i need to bring in horizontal container i bring it at the top and uh, down below if you see i have this border with which i can go up and down because this is a blank which is helping me putting that boundary right so we have this let's say first is the word title uh second horizontal i can put it over here is basically for my kpi the third horizontal is again for the kpi the fourth horizontal is for my charts which is these two charts and finally i have this one right so finally what i bring is this one right and i can remove this okay so all of my components are in place which i can now easily go and navigate and start configuring it i this much size is fine for my text uh, or even i can go up little bit and uh, i can bring in the text over here so text is uh, my inventory analysis right what i do is i bring in the color that is there up to you what color you want to choose i think uh, what i'm choosing is this one and even for this i am choosing this one and i'm giving a size of 36 but i am making it what little bit bold okay inventory analysis and i click okay so inventory analysis is my title and i have the uh, image if you if i show you i have this image which i have taken it directly from there uh, over here by taking a a small snapshot of this so for that what i can do is i can bring in my image so the image is coming over here fit and center click on choose and uh, choose is what logo and click okay and this is where your image is right now it's about also um, if i go over here onto my dashboard the background as well so the way you need to do it you need to come Uh, outside and on to this edge select this container i right, let me just try to do yeah select the container go to the layout over here choose the second one okay because first one i have chosen it for already for my sheets so this image is also matching with this background so this is good right and i can bring in my filter as well uh which is present over here the ear filter right it this will also come once i will do the configuration So I have this. So this is my KPI, right? First KPI sheet. So this much is fine. And second one, I need to keep the same width. So what I need to do is come over here, select Edit Height one two three, and come over here, select Edit Height. Oops, uh, Edit Height one two three. Click OK. Right, same height. So that way, I can now bring in my order, right? Order value. at the end and order third one is again at the end right and the second one is over here average shipping time finally here in the end and unit sold is over here so if you see properly in alignment because we have used the proper horizontal containers 
once we are done with this you can come over here uh, into the layout uh, you need to choose this uh, color which is the light color of gray right similarly over here choose this oh, not white but light color of gray over here select this light color of gray select this light color of gray over here you need to choose the same blue color um, sorry over here this blue color similarly over here select that and select this blue color so that way our configuration for kpi is done right now coming to the second second part where our charts are present if you see uh, where are you the charts are present so what we are doing is we are bringing the charts charts are present here and second chart is present here let me just increase the width little bit so that they come properly yeah depends on how much we want uh, if you want a little bit more we can keep moving it down but we need to also increase the size for this one uh, which we can do it with the help of this we can increase the height and now we have a little bit more height over here so 1100 is the height finally what i can do is i can bring it over here this one so again for this sheet right layout background color first one over here layout color first one layout color over here first one first shade of gray so at least 90 percent you can see very quickly we can do once we have our structure in place and that is something which i also cover very much in depth in my training with a lot of complex different scenarios right just so that you get a mastery over it and create the, these type of dashboard without much of an issue so once we have this couple of more things like uh, we have these legends over here which is same for this too so i have it in central and for this i have uh, uh, i have these values over here uh, and and the legend over here right so how we can bring it is let me just show you so first thing first over here i go uh, select the sheet onto the drop down legend color legend is something which is coming over here right what i can do is i can bring it over here i can make it arrange item for this legend into the single row right and uh, what i can do is i can bring this up a little bit yeah so region like this is coming right we need to get it into a center so what i do is what we need is a blank but the problem is we can't put a blank anywhere onto the left hand side so usually in, in scenarios like this again what we need is the horizontal container in this horizontal container let's put it this inside this and then i can bring in my blank onto this side and then i can keep the size relevant and increase its size right so that it is coming in the middle right so that way we have uh, this section also what i can do is for this container i can choose the background to this little bit grayish color so that it is uh, picking up this size also from the top uh, what i need is it is basically having the same space like this so i select that uh, from the top uncheck this let's just change it to four and that way we get more space right similarly from the bottom if you see it needs to be part of this dashboard right so what do we need to do is select this outer padding is present right uncheck this and say zero select over here again uncheck this and say top zero that way there is no space onto the top and if it will give you a feeling that it's a one single component right the only thing is these dimensions or these things are not coming properly so what do we need is over here from the left we need four from the right we need four so that everything will be in proper alignment right so this looks like a one single shape for our end user now coming back to here again what we need is a horizontal container so i'll bring it over here okay in that what we need is a text component and that is nothing but your quarterly orders by customer segment and give it one space and two three spaces between when the word is uh, changing 
or it's a different word and we are done the only thing i will going to do is semi bold nine is fine and this much is fine just so that you know everything is in place now you can right click and hide the title over here the title is coming over here what i can do is i can select this chart come over here say legends color legend right um so where is that legend the legend is coming over here what we can do is we can bring it here in in this container come over here arrange item single row right and we come up until here and we have the segment also one thing i will do is i'll just select this and double click over here to select the entire container over here what we will going to do is select this white and uh, just couple of more things again double click selected from the top we need four uh, uncheck that and save from bottom zero right over here for this chart uh, we have zero so it's all coming here uh, i'll just yep for this chart what i'll do is uncheck that from the top we'll say zero so that it will feel like it is a part of this container so now this is one this is one and this is one the only thing which i need to bring in is the filter so coming over here onto the filter uh, year of order date which is again coming over here i can bring it over here come over here and say apply to worksheet all using this data source and single value drop down right now i can click all and that should basically change your entire dashboard so that is something which is going on in this dashboard as you can see um once you have produced a visualization a lot of effort goes here in putting it in a proper dashboard and you can do as much as you want like you want to create a third layer or you want to further go down you can keep doing your analysis for your end users with that i wanted to show you how quickly you can do that but yes it takes time because for each visualization you have to you know do it uh, one by one but my my suggestion will be do as much exercise as possible i have shown you where you can find your inspiration go over there find your inspiration take one data set and start creating with that you will going to get an expertise after you are done with some 10 15 dashboard also this will going to build your data analyst portfolio right which you can showcase to your end use uh, to your prospective employer with that thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic